Welcome to Amy's Baby's tutorial, how to hem stitch. My name is Connie Larson. I'm one of the founders of Amy's Babies, and today I will be demonstrating how to hem stitch in just a few simple steps. All of the products and techniques you see today, plus much more, are available on our website, amysbabies.com. What is hem stitching? Hem stitching dates back to the 1900s. A machine is used for perforating holes along the edge of the fabric, allowing a crochet hook to go through the hole easily. The tools that you will need today are one pre-punched hem stitch baby blanket, or you can use a pack of bibs or burps. You will also need crochet cotton number 10. There are several brands, so you can choose your brand and your color. You can use baby yarn instead of crochet cotton if you feel more comfortable working with yarn. And of course you will need a crochet hook number 5 or 1.75 millimeters. A basic hem stitch consists of one round of single crochets. Making one single crochet in each hole around the edge of your Amis blanket or burp cloth. To begin, make a slip knot with your thread and insert your hook through the knot. Next, insert the hook through one of the holes, then yarn over and pull the thread through the hole. Yarn over and pull thread through both loops on your hook. You have now completed a single crochet. You should have one loop left on your hook. Let's do it again. Work one single crochet in each hole around the entire edge of your Amis blanket or burp cloth. Continue to work one single crochet in each stitch until the end of your blanket. After you have completed the last single crochet, insert your hook in the first chain. Yarn over Pull thread through and through both loops. You have now only one loop left on your hook. Now it's time for a couple of tips from Amy's Baby's books. We're going to start with the tension. Make sure that it's not too tight or too loose. If it's too tight, the edge of your project will start to curl. If it's too loose, your stitches are going to show uneven. So you want to make sure that the tension which you control by how tight you hold the crochet cotton on your left hand that is just right, not too tight and not too loose. Tip number two, blocking. You might notice that the stitches on your project don't look even. Don't worry about that. At the end, when you're finished with your project, you will proceed to block it. For blocking instructions, you can log on to our website or you can check back with us for future videos. Now we will prepare to work the second foundation round by following these steps. We are now going to work on the second foundation round. To do that, you're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, 
and you have completed one single crochet. Now you will proceed to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around your project. Make sure that you are working through both loops. One more time through both loops, put your hook through both loops, yarn over, bring out the thread, yarn over, pull through both loops. Yarn over, pull through both loops. Proceed to make one single crochet through each stitch from the prior round. We have now completed the second foundation round of single crochets around our project. As you can see, we have gone all the way around our burp cloth and we are at the point where we need to join to the beginning single crochet. We are going to go ahead and proceed to finish the last few stitches of the second round. And then we are going to join to the beginning single crochet with a slip stitch. Here is my beginning single crochet and here are the two loops. I'm going to put my hook through the two loops, yarn over, thread out through both loops. Now you have completed the second round of our project. We have now completed the second foundation round. You can choose to finish off your project or you can choose to create a third round with a decorative edge. At this point we are just going to finish off. To finish off all you need to do is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through twice. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to clip your thread about two inches and you're going to pull the thread all the way through and you're going to slide that knot down. And Now you have finished off you can take this piece of thread and you can weave it in the back to hide where the end of the round is. Look for Amy's Idea Books online at amysbabies.com or at your local craft store. Our idea books contain instructions on how to personalize and embellish hemstitch baby products. For more how-to videos and ideas, visit us at amysbabies.com. Thank you for taking our tutorial and good luck. This old story before where the people keep a killing for the metaphors, but don't leave much up to the imagination.